to yet another episode of the Three Geniuses. We are blessed by the Almighty to have the talented Ronald Vaughn here with us today. There he is. Ronald Vaughn. Thanks for coming on, the Three Geniuses. Yes, now speak in the microphone, daddy -o, like that. Yes. yes, like you're singing a song. Yeah. Tell us about Jennifer Love Hewitt. Well, that's kind of getting ahead of the things. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah. Who yeah. are you? Who is Ronald Vaughn? Well, sometimes I am Isidore Ivy from Mars as a green Martian astronaut, but in actuality, I started out as an Earth person. I was the son of... Uh, you were adopted, weren't you, Ronald? Yes, I was adopted. And I... Actually, uh, Vaughn was not my original last name, I, and I was a British surname. Tell it, is, it ain't so. It is so. What is your name? I, that's, that's, that's it's private. I, I'm, I'm going to uh, get this documents in from Texas. They just recently changed the law to provide So you grew up in Texas. When did you come to Hollywood? Some time ago. What is this <laughs> thing you call Texas? Texas is a sort of a barren wasteland that used to... You know, they have cattle and stuff, and they had used to have a lot of oil, and Howard Hughes was there, and I, I just know that, you know, I spent, uh, you know, a good part of my life there, but it just it has nothing to it, you know. Is it do they a have planet? ice cream trucks? I'm sure they do. Ice cream trucks? That's things that are... Um, Did you go to elementary school in Texas? Oh, yeah. I went and made up to, like, uh, one year in college. I might be jumping the gun here a bit, yeah. but isn't Jennifer Love Hewitt from Texas? That's right, Waco. No, that is quite a coincidence. It is, and there's more coincidences. Is she responsible for no. Waco? No, the, uh, <laughs> that was something else. It had nothing to do with her or her family, and they left there before that could even happen. What's your sign, Ronald? Uh, it's Aquarius, but I'm not really into <laughs> astrology. Do you know what Jennifer's sign is? It's Pisces. Both of us are kind of not compatible. Yeah, non-religious. You're both into mysticism and thing. So, I have always uh, had kind of a interest in you know show business things and music. I wanted to be a bass playing musician, and so that's why I came to, to Hollywood, California. And before leaving, I um, since I was in kind of a quandary what to do in Houston with, you know, nothing really happening. I bought the services of the now legendary uh, Dutch psychic Peter Herkus. Peter Herkus, Dutch psychic. He has his own uh, we uh, website called PeterHerkus.com. Here was... I don't know if you can say that on the station. Huh? I just know if you can net. say that. Uh, erase that in your mind. Oh. Okay, go I guess you ever heard it. Well, he has his own website. Okay, I believe that. But... Um, this is a gentleman that one of the few uh, reputable um, psychics in history, and he was registered with the Better Business Bureau, tested by all kinds of scientists, including uh, uh, Dr. Andrija Pierhurst. Have you ever tried to call the Better Business Bureau? Because I have, and it's always busy. Have you noticed that? That was a long time ago when I was, was vetting him in on see what, what was going on with him. But he predicted for the likes of Elizabeth Taylor and, of course, Howard Hughes, and all the big stars. He said I would, uh, he said, wait to come to California for a while, and, you know, and I did. And he said, uh, your success in showbiz will come. It's partially come to pass. And then he said something very mysterious, that I would get to know an actress, singer, musician. Describe Jennifer Love Hewitt's an actress, singer, musician. That's correct. Musician. Most people do not know musician. some of her accomplishment, but she does. It's in that order. And another odd thing about her is that one of the few actresses in history with no bad habits. It's no, she has no bad habits. No bad habits ever. Not even one. Not even one. She doesn't bite her nails. Well, that's not considered a bad habit. What's considered a bad habit? Drugs. Into her nostrils. Drugs, smoking, or drinking, or oh. too much drinking. But none of those, you know.